Defense so rich, teams getting the ball around the rim, something that Kansas has to shore up going forward. Here's number two, Christian Brown. His first shot is good. Eddie Sutton loves, and that's all I need to know about the guy. That means he is a maximum effort kid, number two in white. And you know he must play defense, too, if the Hall of 12 title. If you don't have a post presence, your team is a fraud, and Bill Self knows it. And this McCormick kid is good enough to average a double-double. If I mention my time with Bill Self on that Oklahoma State staff, and, and he has a gift, even back when he was a young assistant, to connect with his players and communicate, lead him in scoring. So it's a balanced offensive attack. They're getting out and running right now. They're not turning the ball over. A clean start in every area for the Jayhawks. You got to stick in the Big 12 and go with Isaac Likely. Ice, everyone calls him Ice. How about Fats Russell for Rhode Island? Boogie Ellis for the Memphis Tigers. Rocket Watts. You see the ball go in one time, you know. Here comes Marco Smith. Drives and the follow by Pyle, and they finally break the seal. Matt, you freedom, he allows you to play, but this is a Kansas team. They're not right there with Gonzaga, Baylor, Iowa, and Illinois, but the next tier, Tennessee, Michigan State, Jayhawks. Yeah, like puts a guy that has to come on, and Bill Self talked uh, yesterday with us about getting into his bench and making sure Lightfoot get back. Eight on the shot clock for the Mavs. Here's Tuck with the jumper, and it's good. Good hustle job by Jalen Wilson getting the offensive board. And Wilson gets the bucket as well. Yeah, great burst by Jalen Wilson, who, of course, was spoken of so effusively in praise by Bill Self. He sent for the Jayhawks. Yeah, I just got a glimpse of him last year. And you know, the last freshman to lead Kansas in scoring and rebounding in the season goes all the way back to Brandon Rush. Kansas has some dog in him, and, and Baylor has a, a, a lot of dog in him. I look at Wilson, I look at Brown, I look at Garrett. Uh, they play really hard. They play hard enough to get tired, and a lot of teams don't. There's a guarding you. You better look at the rim really good during pregame warm-ups because it might be the last time you see the rim for the next two hours. He is a havoc defender. Guys, back to a little bit more of what Shaka was at VCU, not in terms of the full court havoc and all that, but they, they have – the defense means something to Texas this year. It's probably about the best way to put it. That's what, and this is a kid that 10 minutes a game, doesn't beat you, plays hard. Great follow by Abaji. Then he is. We were joking with him. He has a 397 e, uh, GPA, and we said, how do you have 397 con and sulfur? Now, how's he getting A minus in a class like that? I don't know. Mm. That's too easy. Yeah, light foot off the window. Five on the shot clock for the Jayhawks. Garrett takes it himself. No, the tip by Lightfoot goes. 38 games going to be played there over the course of the last couple of weeks, the next couple of weeks going forward. Bryce Thompson, no, but TGF, Tyon Grant Foster with the follow dunk, his first two of the night. And by Bryce Thompson, uh, that, this kid's got a motor out of Booker T. Washington. In fact, he had 56 steals and just 54 turnovers. That'll earn you some playing time with Bill Self. It was Lightfoot for three. It and go two or three or four games deep in March. They have to have a post presence, and Bill Self is working on that tonight. And the drive from Abaji, a team coming in, missing Zach Thornhill, a starting guard, and Marlon Ruffin, their leading scorer, coming in. And now they're without the services of Marco Smith, another starter for Darren Hansen. Inside, and one opportunity for David McCormick. Being aggressive, that's who Bill Self is at his core. I know he changed his ball screen defense for one game for Creighton. I, I don't think you'll see that drop coverage by those Kansas bigs anymore going forward. There's a three from the wing, and the Omaha Mavs get back in the scoring column. Sami Rowe with his first points of the night. Rich, what, what I mean by drop coverage, if McCormick's guy comes out to set a ball screen against Creighton, he would lag back in the lane and kind of drop back in the lane and make sure there was no roll guy. That was, he was protecting the roll. 30 Pacific, Saturday on the ESPN app and ABC. The offensive coordinator at Miami is Rhett Lashley. He's a, remember the name Rhett Lashley, the offensive coordinator at Miami. 
Jimmy Dykes with the inside intel <laughs> on the college footy. <laughs> He's going through 10 people. points now for Tut. Yeah. King Tut. I like it. Add that to the list of nicknames as a body gets an easy two. Not all of them are watching right now because never before has Shawnee Heights T-Birds been mentioned on a national college basketball game. So shout out to them. And listen, I'm associated with Kansas since 1912, over 100 years. And the Jayhawk was actually an invention. It was a comp. The number of the percentage of shots that Kansas has allowed this year around the rim, 36% of the opponent shots have come from around the rim. That, that's too high of a number. The ball is point guard position. Marcus Garrett, eight assists and no turnovers to their big men in the middle, combining for some monster numbers. It's been a big Jayhawks night. Tut, again, he's been the best offensive player. Nine and a half to go. Here's Harris again with the ball, three and white. Zion Grant Foster with Whoa. the throwdown. Right now with 8.23 to go in this game. Christian Brown, deep three off the mark. Grant Foster with the follow in. College basketball. Right. And Bill Self knows that he sets in a really big chair, man, and he's done a tremendous job. Dads and, and uh, husbands and granddads. And Bill and I had a great, we, we, we talked yesterday on the phone, Bill and I did about 30 minutes. You know what 10 minutes of it was about? Well, not too long ago, we just talked about just the, the, the hurt and the, and the pain and how, how real it is. And, you know, the, those dogs, man, they're, they're important to coaches. They find out what's the best way for their team to play. And, and you know, we've seen Bill go big over the years with his two game and high low, and just wear people out. We've seen that, that is crazy to have more Big 12 titles and you have home losses. Well, we got big games coming up on Sunday, Richmond and West Virginia, I mean, and, and you're doing that game. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a complete contrast. If you talk about a game to start Big 12 conference play, my gosh. Well, if you haven't noticed already, Pons and Fulkerson, Folky, it's amazing yeah, how Folky. they have really reloaded after Grant Williams and Admiral Schofield left a couple of years ago. All of a sudden, Rick Barnes is back and maybe better than ever. And their belief and their the word culture. I think they, they probably set the standard. Tennessee's right there with them. And there's a nice layup as well. That's away from heading to my old high school where I was the AD, Shiloh Christian High School. They're in the state semifinals tonight. Football game against the Stuttgart. You know how the the rice birds and the saints are doing but 48 degrees out and it's raining i don't care i'm going to a football game from t-birds to rice birds yeah that's how we end this one <laughs> number five kansas blows out the omaha mavericks 95 to 50 is your final score